I will tell this story. It was a Greek town wrestling years ago. And Ricky Steamboat was on the show. I guess he was guest enforcer, or, you know, some whatever. And earlier in the show, I did a promo with him. And, you know, a back and forth. I, I'm sure I called him Steamer. What are you going to do? Another arm jag? I think we got it. And the, the gist of his response to me was, you know, I'm blah, 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 blah. And I'm a Hall of Famer. And if you, you know, cross me, I'm going to beat you up and blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to make you kiss my ring or do something like that. And there was like a kiss the ring chant. And then we, and then we ended the promo and when we got to the back and I said, well, we should, you know, do something at the end with that. So, uh, he was the, the official of a match. And I think there was double down and I ran out to interfere or something. And then he came in and he spun me around and now I'm like, oh, shit. And they, you know, remember, and they start doing the kiss because I'm like, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. So they started doing a kiss the ring chant. And he looked on his hand and he went, oh, shit, I left it in my bag. So he didn't have his Hall of Fame ring on him for me to kiss. So he looked at his other hand <laughs> to which he had his wedding ring. Nobody could tell because they're so far away. And he's like, well, I guess you got to kiss my wedding ring. So <laughs> then... He put out his hand and I held it and I kissed Ricky Steamboat's wedding ring. So I'm sure I'm sure Bonnie was thrilled or something. 